never seen before on any YouTube channel, we are here to show you the Model 8 fresco of Shea Homes in Del Sol. Come on, let's go take a look at it. Now, this is not a model home. This is actually a home that can be purchased for around 1.15 million. Let's go inside. The kitchen has a built-in microwave and oven and a gas stove top, which is almost unheard of nowadays. They had pulled the permits before you were no longer allowed to have gas in kitchens. However, there is no fridge in this one. You'll have to buy your own fridge. Make sure you measure because you don't want a fridge that sticks out further. And then there's the soft clothes cabinets. This fresco home has the regular sliding glass doors and also the stackable or accordion glass doors. This home is located on the corner of a very busy street and the lot as you can see is not as large as the model home lots. upgraded flooring here, including the carpet in the bedrooms. And those of you who are a little more tactile um, sensitive, there are quite a bit of ridges on it. If I was taking a shower in the primary bathroom, I might be a little concerned because there is a window right across from us and a balcony. Off of the entertainment area on the main floor or a loft area kind of, there is a balcony. And while you'll have a view of the mountains, you're also going to have that noise again. This is a fiberglass insert, and so it should last about 10 to 15 years. Less than tile, however, you don't have to worry about that grout.
we go again, another window on window. So the homes are about eight feet away from each other. However, when you have a window looking right into your window, it feels pretty close. Now remember, if you give us a call and we're the ones who register you here at Shea Homes, you would get a percentage of our commission. This is also model eight. It's not even on the MLS. However, it's available for us to take a look at. The main difference so far between these two models is the countertop in here. This one is not as upgraded as the other one, however, I still think it's absolutely beautiful. But you're still going to have gas stove top. I did notice in the other Model 8 that there was actually a seam that was showing on this one, um, but not in this model, so that might be something that somebody wants to put a little blue piece of tape showing that they want it fixed before you move in. I highly recommend that you get an inspection done by a third party inspector before you move in. And if that's not going to be allowed, because sometimes builders don't allow that, then you're going to want to get one done before the 10 days are up because usually certain little items need to be told to the builder before 10 days are over. looks like on both units you also have a gas fireplace which which again you're no longer allowed to build homes like this so you're going to be one of the last people who can buy a brand new home that has those features another thing that stands out with these ones is that it actually backs up to ranch style homes so you're not going to have another home with windows looking at you while you're in your backyard big bonus And if you can hear, this one you don't hear the noise of the street as much. You just hear a lot of birds and of course construction. Another thing I want to point out that Shay made sure they did is this little hole right here. You want that because with all of the rain and everything, it's going to get into, into the window well and that way the water can actually come out. So it's good to see that they have those little touches. That crack is just in the screen door. However, I'd want to have that taken a look at also. Another reason, again, just little, little items that will bother you because you spent so much money on a home. It's really worth that inspector to come out and make sure all items can get fixed. And also, again, right before your year because they have a year-end warranty also. You want to make sure that everything is as perfect as it can be. Because they're going to have an alleyway right there, you're going to still have a limited view of the mountains, but it's a view of the mountains. In the loft, of course the loft is a lot like the other loft, but instead of looking out over a busy street, you have some windows. That might actually be a little bit of a benefit though, because then you don't have sun just 
pouring in while you're trying to watch television if you have that set up here. You have your own thermostat in your primary bedroom. Now, I tend to get cold, but I also don't like to turn up the heat and pay for it. about the same in this bathroom as the other one. However, look, this one doesn't have a house that is right next door to you because they have a garage there instead. I like some of these touches a little bit more than the other one. I mean, there still is a window there, so I'd probably get a shade to go down there, but it's not like I expect to be walking by there at the same time as somebody else and we're both like, oh, instead it feels like we have a little more distance. This has that same, oh no. I don't think this is the upgraded carpet. And actually, if you're, <laughs> and it doesn't feel like the ridge is like the other one. Now you might be saying, why are you having bare feet in my house? Well, in the other house, I actually stepped in some mud and I didn't want to be bringing mud all the way around into your house. So I am being a little thoughtful. I did not do that. I did not make that dirty area on that carpet. See? Clean. My feet are clean. This bedroom has a much better view. Well, maybe not. I mean, you might not actually wanna be looking to see what your neighbors are doing in their backyard, but at least you don't have a window looking into your window. Now, this bedroom also shows you that they do their own walkthrough before they have somebody purchase the home. Again, you'll be doing a walkthrough also marking where you think that certain things need to be fixed. This is the Model 8 you can choose from in Fresco. This was brought to you because one of our viewers asked to have a video on it and we were more than happy to oblige. If you have any questions or want to know more about this community, then please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us over an email. We would love to help you.